So hello everyone, you are welcome to Kunli's Fashion YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified when next I post a new video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to draft a basic bodice, okay? So the first thing you are going to do is to divide your biggest circumference by two. Here I'm using bust 35, waist 28. So um, the bust is you know bigger than the waist. So the waist measurement is 28, while the bust measurement is 35. So I'm going to divide that that 35 that 35 into two. Okay. So here I have. 35 divided by 2 gives me 17.5 so here is my 17.5 so the box now is 17.5 in width okay and the length is the waist measurement so i'll be using waist 18 for the front length is 18 inches then for the back for the back i'm going to use 16 inches for the back so i'm going to mark 16 inches okay then I'll bring it here also and mark my 15 inches. So after marking the 15 inches, I'm going to also roll it into a straight line, okay? So having done this now, the next thing I'm going to do is to divide. Now, before you mark your back length, you have to divide the box. You divide it into two, okay? Can you see? Then you mark the midpoint. When you mark the midpoint, you mark what you have from the CF center front to the midpoint you marked. Then you bring the number down, then you mark and you roll it into a straight line. So, having done this now, the next thing we are going to do is to mark the shoulder measurement, okay? Otherwise known as, it's also known as the back measurement. So here I'm using back uh, 13 inches so 13 divided by 2 is going to give me 6.5 so i'm going to mark the 6.5 this way after marking the 6.5 i'll mark the neck width to get your neck width divide your bust measurement by 12 okay now if you get 2.8 make sure you mark your 2.8 if you get um 2.7 2.5 make sure you use your accurate measurement okay the three point or uh, the three inches standard might not you know work for you so i'm going to pull down for bus 35 divided by six you know gives me 2.9 so i'll mark my 2.9 so then the uh that also i'm going to use the same 2.9 okay if yours is three you make sure you mark your three okay having done this now i'm going to i'm going to square the neckline now i'm going to square it from the neck width i will just square it down a little to this point i will also square it to the neck that here so after that i'm going to come in from this angle half here by one inch so I'm going to come out by one inch from that angle to this point. So after that, I'm going to place my French curve. Okay. Can you see? So I'll place my French curve this way just to achieve a nice curve. So, so here is it. This is my, oh, this is my front neckline so remember we've marked the shoulder measurement divided by two here so from that point you are going to come down by 1.5 inches for the front so you place your tape measure and come down by 1.5 inches for the front shoulder slope you mark okay so you mark so after marking you are going to connect it to the neck width so you connect it straight to the neck width like so when you are done with this you come to the back also the neck width you use on the front part here you are also going to bring it to the back okay so i'll place it from the center back line then i will mark 2.9 so from that 2.9 i'm going to mark the back measurement 6.5 okay from that 6.5 i'll come down by one inch then i'll mark so after marking it you also want to do the same thing connect the neck width to the shoulder slope 
can you see you connect it that way having done that you mark the neck depth for the back is just one inch okay so you place your tape measure this way and the mark one one inch when you are done marking the one inch now the next thing you are going to do is to connect it okay so to connect it you can use this uh, part of you can use this part of this ruler to connect that part okay so can you see so i've connected it so when you are done with that the next thing now is to get our chest line so to get the chest line what you are going to do is to divide your bust circumference by six okay then you had 1.5 inches so for bust 35 divided by six plus 1.5 inches is 7.3 that 7.3 i'm going to place it from the back okay i'll place it from the from the back shoulder slope then i'll mark my 7.3 this way now after marking your 7.3 you move your tape measure to the shoulder line here then you mark what you have there to where you marked so i have 8.3 remember we came down by one inch for the shoulder slope so plus the 7.3 is going to give us 8.3 that 8.3 you bring it to this point you marked it okay you marked it here you also bring it to the midpoint here then you mark you also bring it here to the front part here then you mark and the next thing you want to do is to rule it into a straight line So when you are done ruling it into a straight line, the next thing you want to do is to bring your shoulder measurement. This part you marked, this shoulder line you marked, your back divided by 2, 6.5, you bring it down, okay? Then you mark 6.5, okay? You repeat the same thing on the front part, your shoulder measurement, 6.5, then you mark. So from there, you are going to connect it with, you know, with you know broken lines this way just connect it this way can you see so when you are done doing this now so on this back now you are going to go you are going to divide what you have from the chest line now to the shoulder slope by two you divide it into two then you mark can you see you mark it then from where you marked you go in by Half of an inch 0 0.5 inch you mark so the first thing is to first connect the 0 0.5 inch this way then you come to the shoulder slope and connect it to that 0 0.5 okay so you connect it this way to the 0 0.5 so having done that on the front part you go up by either two inches or three inches okay either two inches or 2.5 so I'm going to use 2.5 just to make sure that it's not up to the half of the measurement okay just to make sure you go up by either two or three now you can mark you can measure what you have on this part here i have 3.75 so 3.75 so if you still use three inches here it's still okay okay but i will advise you that you use either three inches or you use 2.5 so i use 2.5 here then on this part from the three from the 2.5 inches you measured you are going to come in by 0 0.75 okay for the front come down by 0 0.75 then you bring in your ruler and connect the shoulder slope to the 0 0.75 having done this the next thing you want to do now is to measure the bust measurement so remember we divided this box by the bust circumference divided by two so if i should mark my bust circumference divided by four now it's going to give me you know half of this which is 8.75 can you see 8.75 bust 35 divided by four will give me 8.75 so i'm going to connect this point here to the boss point now how do you get it perfectly well on this angle here you can use your angle 40 this is angle 40 here this is angle 40 here so you can mark that angle 
and connect it straight like so can you see connect it like so with broken lines then you mark half of an inch you mark either 0.5 or 0.75 i'm going to use 0.5 here okay this will reduce the excess on the hampit area so i'll be placing my armhole curve from that point here for the front i'm going to place it like so i'll make sure it touches this point and the 0.5 inch okay can you see see the way i have placed it now so it touches this part and the 0.75 if it's not touching this point here don't worry just make sure it touches the 0.75 0 0.5 here and the you know mid arm all here so i've got where i want so i'm going to connect it that way okay so it's not you don't need to you don't need to keep dragging your arm or cuff to touch this point and this point if you do it this way you might have excess fabric here so just place it to touch that 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 for the back so i've marked my 0 0.75 here i'm going to place it this way can you see for the back to touch this point 0 0.5 and this other point then you have it perfect then you cannot go ahead and connect as it is can you see so now we've gotten our round ham all the next thing we are going to do is to mark the bust point on the front line here the bust point uh is you know for an average person it's you know within 10 inches to 10.5 i'm going to use you know 10.5 for this pattern so i'm going to mark 10.5 this way okay then i will also bring it to this point and mark 10.5 and the next thing i'm going to do now is to rule it into a straight line this is a bust line now so from this bust point i'm going to mark the bust span which is the nipple to nipple measurement mine is 3.5 okay i will use 3.5 i'll mark 3.5 and i will also mark from this 3.5 here you come down by one inch for the front okay come down by one inch and put a dot so from that point this 3.5 inches on the waistline you open it on both sides by 0 0.5 0 0.5 then you connect it to this one inch below the bust point okay so having done this the next thing now is to come to the back here you are also going to you know put that on the back so for the back you are going to mark your so for the back you are going to come down from the waistline you come in by half inch for the back tightening if you want to you know use the basic pattern on you know another skirt you can actually alter it more than half of an inch but for tutorial purpose i'm going to you know mark half of an inch okay this is half of an inch then from from the back measurements there i'm still going to measure my uh waist divided my boss pan which is 3.5 can you see here is my 3.5 from the back waistline from the back you know from the center back line 3.5 on both sides i will you know uh, mark i'm going to mark half inch on both sides can you see i've marked half inch you know sideways so on the chest line you are also going to mark the same 3.5 so i'm going to mark 3.5 also from there you come down by one inch also for the back then you put your dots okay now having put uh having done that i'm going to connect it straight down now we've gotten this now remember we still have our back tightening here you are going to mark what you have on the chest line to the midpoint for the back you mark it here i have 3.75 i'll bring it here and mark 
3.75 so after marking my 3.75 i'm going to connect this back this half inch i marked here i'm going to connect it straight to that 3.75 so this is it can you see so this part is going to be cut out so that is the back tightening so if you want to add zipper allowance it means you are going to be marking your zipper allowance from this back tightening if you want to add 0.5 you mark 0.5 all the way out all the way out like that and connect it okay so this is you know the basic bodies there seal it okay now we are going to mark the waist measurement now from this back tightening you mark the waist measurement i'm using waist 28 divided by four is going to give me seven so i'm going to put my seven here plus one inch that intake that makes it eight so this eight inches i marked here I'm going to connect it straight to this bust point okay to this bust point for the back can you see so that is the back waist okay now having done this the next thing you are going to do is to also take the waist measurement for the front which is you know or oh, 20 divided by 4 which is 7 inches 7 inches you know plus 1 inch that intake it will give me 8 inches so i'm going to mark the 8 inches here and the next thing i will do now is to connect that 8 inches to the bust you know measurements can you see you connect it this way so when you are done with this now the next thing you are going to do is to measure what you have as difference between the back length and the front length this is the front length and here is the back length so from this back length you mark what you have here i have you know two inches as difference so i'm going to bring that two inches here from the bust line now not from the chest line from the bust line then i will mark the two inches like so can you see so i've marked the two inches the next thing i will do now is to connect it straight to the bust point now i've connected it to the bust point but if you are busty if you are busty you can mark one inch away from the bust point then you connect your dart to it but if you want to alter this bodies that is if you want to sew your dart on your fabric but if you want to alter these bodies you know to make another you know design you need to connect it to the bust point so that when you close so that it will be very easy for you to close the bust that because if your dart does not touch the point or the bust point is not going to be closed okay so there still mates this is it for uh the basic pattern this is how to draft your basic body so if you find this video helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so when next i upload a new video you know you'll be notified okay now for the front and the back length immediately you close this that the front and the back is going to be the same so you can watch the uh, basic uh, gown video you know to to check that point so this is it now so i'm going to i'll go ahead now and cut it out okay So now before I go ahead to cut the front, I'm going to use my tracing wheel to trace the dart point here so that it weakens the paper so that I'll be able to close the dart, okay? So I'm going to close it like this. I actually doubled the paper because I want to use it for another Thing. so I'm not going to cut out the dart because I'm still going to use it okay so here is it so can you see now when you close it to the boss point this is what you have can you see this is what you have now before cutting it out I'm going to place 
I'm going to connect I'm going to connect this boss point now to the main waistline. Can you see? Just connect it this way so that everything will rhyme together. Just connect it straight to this waistline. Remember, this is still the waistline. Can you see? Just connect it like so. Can you see? So, so now I've gone ahead to cut it out. So let's place it now side by side. Can you see? Let me push the bust point up. So that is the bust effect. It's going to come out, okay? Unless your drafting is not accurate. But if your drafting and your measurements, you know, are accurate, everything is just going to balance and, you know, you, you'll be surprised at the results. So here is it. This is our basic bodies. You can see that everything is matching up. And this is it, there's your mates. Just like I said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Bye.